Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie! Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one of fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? Ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too big. Dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> Spiderweb. Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! 
Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was for Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh, he's very busy. Yes, it's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr. Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> It is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy, you work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. Mr. Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work! I will, Peppa. Bye! Bye! <sighs> Daddy Pig works very hard. <sighs> but Mr Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> <laughs> the pet competition. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, tomorrow we will have a pet competition. Ooh. Bring your pets to school. The best pet will win a prize. I'm going to bring my pet goldfish. I'm going to bring my stick insect. I will bring my gecko. I'm going to bring monkey. Ooh, ooh. That's not a real pet. It's a doll. It's not a doll. It's monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. He likes you, Danny. Zoe can bring Monkey if she wants to. Home time, children. <laughs> Don't forget your pets for the competition tomorrow. It is the evening before the pet competition. Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <gasps> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. 
A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? <coughs> Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <coughs> Madam Gazelle? Who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too, Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes. Who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <clears throat> Tiddles the tortoise! <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to... Goldie the fish. Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to the gecko. Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey. Dr Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to Monkey. Hooray! But Dr Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Daddy Dog. Pepper and her friends are playing at Danny Dog's house. I'm a sea captain sailing across the sea. We are jolly pirates. Shiver me timbers. Aha! <laughs> it's the post. It is Mr Zebra, the postman. Hello, Mummy Dog. I've got a postcard for you. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Bye now. Who is the postcard from, Mummy? It's from Captain Dog. Daddy! He's finished his sailing trip around the world and he's coming home. Ooh! How exciting! I wonder when he'll be back. Ahoy there, Mr Zebra. Ruff. Hello, Captain Dog. Hello! Daddy! Danny! Daddy! Danny! Captain Dog is home from the sea. My Captain Dog! Mummy Dog, my sweetheart! How long are you home for, Daddy? Forever. I've decided my travelling days are over. I've been around the world and made me fortune. Ooh! And lost it again. Oh! And made it again! Hooray! Ah, I love to travel. But there's something I really miss when I'm away. What, Daddy? My 
darlings, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hanging up my captain's hat for good. Let me tell you all about my travels. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No, I held on tightly. Wow, what an adventure. It was, and I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh, presents. Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun. Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates. Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy, will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny, if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> The fish pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh! I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the olden days. Thank you, Peppa. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh, <laughs> oh it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Pond yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. <laughs> the cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. oh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh, 
A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm, delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look. There's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George's new dinosaur. <laughs> George is playing with his favourite toy, Mr Dinosaur. George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur. Mr Dinosaur is made of plastic. It is almost impossible to break him. <laughs> Dinosaur! George loves playing with Mr Dinosaur in the bath. Night time, George always takes Mr. Dinosaur to bed with him. Dinosaur! George! Mr. Dinosaur is broken! Oh! Mr. Dinosaur does not have a tail anymore. <laughs> Poor George! You have had Mr. Dinosaur a long time. I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did. Maybe it's about time you got a new dinosaur. Yes, we can go to Mr Fox's shop tomorrow. This is Mr Fox's shop. Mr Fox's shop sells everything. I'm sure we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. <sighs> 
It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Roar! <gasps> George! Dino Roar! Dino Roar has woken me up! Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. <laughs> oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands. Dino Roar needs lots of batteries to make him roar. Oh, what's this? A trumpet? <laughs> it doesn't work. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's not a trumpet, Pepper. You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail. Oh. Now, Daddy Pig can mend him. I'll try. Hmm. I think it might be quite difficult to mend. Oh! Daddy Pig has mended Mr. Dinosaur. Hooray! Oh, oh! I am a bit of an expert at mending things. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> dinosaur! Dinosaur! Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> 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 Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy in the whole world. <laughs> Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles! It is Dr. Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles! Thank goodness you found him. Oh, naughty tartice. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <laughs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise. He's up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh! I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we 
chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops, silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, us too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are! <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> The little boat. Peppa and her family are going on a picnic. I love picnics. Me too. The picnic spot is on the other side of the river. Oh, how do we get over there? We take a little boat. You call it by ringing this bell. Hello there! It is Grampy Rabbit in his rowing boat. Would you like to cross the river? Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, stop, Daddy Pig. There's no more room. Oh. Bye-bye, Daddy. Don't worry. I'll come straight back for you. Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! <laughs> Picnic spot. Everybody off. Thank you, Thank Grumpy you, Rabbit. Rabbit. Daddy Pig is still waiting to get across the river. Hello, Mr Pig. Here are the wolf family. What are you doing here? We're having a picnic. Would you like to join us? Yes, please, Mr Pig. Ah, oh, more passengers. Uh, women and children first. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, the boat is full. Oh. oh. I'll be straight back for you two. Bye-bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a big fat wolf, don't forget to shriek. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Wendy. We're joining your picnic. Oh, goody. But where's Daddy Pig? I left him with Mr Wolf. I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry, we've got the picnic. All aboard! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here. Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh, Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. 
They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look, Mrs Duck has saved you a worm. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>